Um, take us to yours. You're writing about Boris uh, tomorrow, uh, Rachel, and it's brand Boris. Tell us what you're... Yeah, so gorgeous. I've written about how, out of all politicians, he's is the most distinctive brand. It's Boris is all you need. His hair is enough. It's like Nike or Coke. He's completely identifiable just from one word. Um, but actually, my argument is that his, his brand, if you like, his shtick is authenticity, that he's mm. supposed to be a man of the people. But actually, he's a complete fake uh, and a phony. Uh, and most recently, we've seen this in his... Um, rabble-rousing populism over the burqa and over, more recently, uh, comparing the Chequers deal to a suicide vest. And that he's trying to, he wants to say that, um, you know, he's in favour of a new, more optimistic Britain, you know, global, buccaneering Brexit. But actually, he's playing to people's most darkest fears and their sort of pessimism. Um, so there's a sort of mismatch and a sort of lack of genuineness there, when in fact he's meant to be this sort of straight talker. One of the things, I mean, you've written here as Foreign Secretary, Ms Johnson had the chance to morph from showman to statesman to prove to his colleagues he had the ability to lead. You return to that question, essentially, of whether he has led them, are they still with him, and whether the infidelities and um, what we've read about over the last few days will affect his chance of leadership in any way? I actually think the personal life doesn't matter. What matters is his political amorality and the sense among a lot of his colleagues now that he's just in it for himself and that he's a narcissist. And although I think he still has quite a lot of support probably among party members who think that he might be a winner, among Tory MPs there's a real hostility. I've spoken mm. to several MPs today who did back him in 2016 and now say they wouldn't you know they say that he's just in it for himself and that he's um you know he, he doesn't have a sense of what he would wants to do he's he's basically amoral